Hello everyone. Well, it's good to be back on track again. I really appreciate the messages showing concern and wishing me a speedy recovery. So I caught the seasonal dengue fever, which is usually a very worrying disease, but I was able to recover rather quickly, as you can see, and I'll tell you why at the end of this program. So stick around if you're curious. But before that, let's hear today's stories. A seven-year-old is living by himself after his eight family members, who also live with him, tested positive for COVID. The boy, who's identified by the name Bass, is the only family member not to test positive for COVID. He got to stay behind his home in Nontaburi, the province just outside of Bangkok. A local rescue team and other officials have confirmed that there are usually nine people living in the house and that Bass is the only one to test negative. So Bass's grandmother, Noi, is asking for help as she feels he could also contract COVID and will be missing his family. The media reports, Thai media reports that some neighbors have stepped forward and said they will make sure Bass is okay. Thailand's Prime Minister says some COVID-19 restrictions may be relaxed from next month if the infection rate starts to come down. Until then, the PM says everyone should strictly adhere to the rules, making the restrictions more effective and reducing the number of new cases and fatalities. Rayutan Ocha was addressing the nation via his Facebook page. In a statement, he maintains that despite daily new cases surpassing the 20K mark, there are still signs that the infection rate is decreasing. He points out that the number of recovered COVID patients has surpassed the number of new cases for several days now. However, he admits to being concerned by the surging death rate. He also noted that the current lockdown measures have been extended until the end of the month in hope of decreasing the rate of infection, thereby enabling some restrictions to be eased. Meanwhile, Phuket officials have amended the requirements for domestic travel to the island's sandbox experiment, allowing some domestic categories to come to the island. The measures are in place until at least the end of the month. Domestic arrivals who meet the criteria can enter Phuket via land, sea, or air. They are broadly anyone returning to Phuket who can produce a house registration book that confirms they are a resident of the island, or anyone who can show evidence of being permanently employed on the island. Foreign tourists in the country under the Phuket Sandbox Scheme or another tourism project or anyone arriving for essential business who cannot postpone their visits. All domestic travelers who meet the criteria above must be fully vaccinated with Sinovac, Sinopharm, or AstraZeneca. You can check out all the specific details and exceptions at thetiger.com. A bail application for jailed political activist Parit Penguin Shiwarak has been rejected, with his lawyer saying he has also tested positive for COVID-19. Seven other activists had their bail requests rejected at the same hearing. All eight had been charged over anti-government protest at police headquarters in the central province of Batum Thani on August 2. Per its lawyer says Tanyaburi court ruled that there was no reason to grant bail. In addition to Parit's diagnosis, two other jailed activists have also tested positive for COVID-19, claiming all three most likely were infected during their time of incarceration. He added that a request to transfer the three patients to Tamasad University Hospital for treatment has also been turned down. He said that all three had exhibited some symptoms of the virus and were currently being treated in jail. For next month, Vietjet is resuming a number of domestic routes between Thai provinces without the need to connect through Bangkok. The carrier is promoting four routes starting around 389 baht when taxes and other fees are factored in. By the way, that fare sale closes at midnight tomorrow night. The four direct routes are Phuket Chiang Mai from September the 15th, Phuket Udon Thani from November the 10th, Phuket Chiang Rai from October the 1st, Chiang Rai Hat Yai from the 1st of October. 
Nok Air is still flying from a limited number of destinations through the Wu Dapao Airport in Rayong, and Bangkok Airways also has a small number of remaining domestic flights at this time. The World Health Organization has slammed the concept of booster shots, while millions of people around the world are yet to receive their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. The WHO adds that there is yet no scientific evidence that such boosters are necessary and administering them is immoral when so many countries are struggling with vaccine shortages. Mike Ryan, the WHO's emergency director, has questioned the ethics of such a policy, noting that we're planning to hand out extra life jackets to people who already have life jackets, while we're leaving other people to drown without a single life jacket. Ryan's statement echoes the words of WHO's boss, who just weeks ago called for a moratorium on booster doses in order to address the huge vaccine disparity between rich and poor nations. The administration of booster shots is already underway in Israel, with people over the age of 50 prioritized initially. The UK has not yet confirmed its policy, but is considering a rollout of booster shots soon. The US says it will initiate a policy of booster shots from September the 20th. So two years ago, I caught a severe strain of dengue fever that had me hospitalized for a week, and it did some real damage to my organs, and it took me months to get back to normal. It was a horrible time in my life. So after recovering, my doctor advised that I should get vaccinated for dengue fever because contrary to other viruses, getting dengue fever will actually make you more vulnerable to getting it again, and it'll likely be worse than the previous one. So I gladly got vaccinated. Now fast forward to this week, I suddenly came down with a high fever and fatigue and was diagnosed with dengue fever for the second time in my life. The mosquito was probably hiding in that flowery shirt I wore last time. But whereas last time my white blood cell and platelet counts were at worryingly low levels, this time the levels were very normal. I told the doctor that I had been vaccinated and she said, yeah, that's why it's not that bad this time. And so here I am mostly back to normal. So the point of all this is please be very careful of dengue fever during the rainy season. It's no joke. If you have mosquitoes in your house or in your garden, do not show them mercy. If you've gotten dengue fever before, I suggest talking to your doctor about how to prevent yourself from getting it again. Now, usually the vaccine is only given to people who've already gotten dengue fever. Here at the Tiger, we actually did a piece on how to avoid getting dengue fever that will pop up right now, and I will highly suggest that you watch it. Anyway, thank you for listening to my ramble. I just want to prevent as many people from going through what I experienced as possible. Thank you for watching, and you're now up to date on the Tiger.